Hi girls! Today I wanted to do my July favorites and actually this is gonna be June and July because I didn't do uh, June favorites because as you know I was traveling in Italy and Frankfurt and I didn't have time to film and I don't know I was experimenting a lot of new products and I wanted to know more about them before I talk. So let's get started because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a long video. So first I want to start with my random favorite which is this wallet and this is from Miu Miu and my fiance got me this like two months ago and I've been carrying this all the time I switch purses and wallets all the time I really like it because I don't have anything like this it opens like this and I think it's pretty nice the design on it like the birds the color the like the bronzy beige color is very very nice and looks like this from inside has like this compartment and another one you could put money cards whatever so I really really like this wallet and I've been carrying this ever ever since I got it next I want to talk about my strive victim SD cream and this is basically for stretch marks and wrinkles and I use this for my stretch marks I have a lot of stretch marks and I'm gonna do a video on how I lost my weight and stuff because I used to be very fat and I lost a lot of weight so this is a life saver for me I've been using this as you can see I'm almost done of it I have like this much and I already have two spare because I love this product I can't live without it and I've been using this every single day morning and night next I want to talk about this this is the lemony flutter and this is a cuticle butter from Lush and as you can see Kika had played with it a lot and this is basically a cream it's not really a cream and it's not a wax it's um a very weird consistency but I use this for my elbows and knees and it just um, moisturize and like soft your skin I love this product and I've been using this a lot so I had to mention it next I want to talk about this yes to cucumber uh, daily gentle facial cleanser and as you can see I used it I used a lot of it I love this product first of all it smells like cucumber and I love cucumber <laughs> it's not so good and it's very good it's very foamy and it works very good with my Clarisonic so that's what I've been using lately next I want to talk about this this is from philosophy and this is the creme brulee shampoo shower gel and bubble bath I use this only as a shower gel and all I, all I can say about this product that it smells exactly like creme brulee if you love creme brulee, brulee oh my god creme brulee you're gonna love this product because it smells exactly like creme brulee and makes your skin very smooth and soft and makes your scent very nice you smell like creme brulee so this is so yummy I feel like I want to eat it every time I use it so I love this product moving on to nail polishes as you know I had a recent uh, nail polishes haul if you didn't watch this go check it out because I had a lot of new OPI nail polishes um, I, didn't, I don't have a favorite because I've been experimenting a lot of colors and trying out a lot of colors but the one I wore like two times is this one and this is called Planks A Lot and this is from OPI I love it, it's like a purpley um, lavender color and I really really like this color and the color that I'm wearing on my nails today I just applied it today so it's not a favorite but I'm just gonna tell you this is from the uh, Pirate of the Caribbean's collection and this color is called Mermaid Tears and it's also from OPI. It's a very nice uh, greenish color. And on top of this I have Essence Nail Art Twins Glitter Topper and this is in Edward 06 and it's basically chunks of green glitters and I really really like it. I think it's so funky. Also, I've been loving my Still Loader top coat and I got this as a gift from Sephora from a purchase from Sephora Italy, uh, not this time, the time before. Um, and I got this as, I didn't pay money for it, it was free. So I really like it, it's a very nice top coat and this is from a Still Loader. Also, I've been loving my Soap and Glory hand foot and it looks like this. This is a very nice product for the hands and I can't read what's written here because it's all Deutsch, German, but I really, really like the smell of it and the uh, like the texture of the product. It's so, so soft on the, on the skin. 
so I've been loving this as a hand cream so moving on to makeup I have a lot of stuff so I'm just gonna go fast on them and if you want me to review anything just leave it down and I'm definitely I will review it so first product is this palette and this is from Mali and first of all look at the packaging it's super pretty and it comes with an eyeshadow palette or actually a palette and three brushes and they're pink so that's so cute and the palette looks like this it's very very nice I've been wearing this palette a lot lately looks like this and the colors are so pretty there's two blushes six eyeshadows and two lip glosses and I love the idea that they had like a glass on the um, on the lip gloss so it doesn't get uh, messy with the eyeshadows so I just love it the lip glosses are not very pigmented they're whatever but the eyeshadows are so pretty especially this purpley um, burgundy color it's so nice and so so pigmented I love this color so this palette I've been wearing a lot and I love it and I totally totally recommend you go check Next it out Next eyeshadow palette is this Rock Forever from Makeup Forever and it's an amazing palette it has like a huge amount of eyeshadows comes with like a beigey eyeshadow white, silver and black the black is very very pigmented but the one that I've been wearing a lot and I've been loving is this color and it's very very pretty and very pigmented crazy pigment also this palette from Sigma and this is the flare palette and this is supposedly for green eyes if I'm if I'm not mistaken and it comes with this uh, pretty eyeshadows and a brush like two brushes in one a blending brush and a flat brush I think this is the E55 and the E40 the very nice brushes I'm saving them I didn't use them yet because I, I don't know why but I just didn't use them I'm saving them for like an event or something and the colors are so nice especially this green color it's crazy pigmented and I just love this color I'm in a green mermaid color mood so I've been wearing this colors a lot last palette I want to talk about is the Too Faced palette and this is called the bronze and the beautiful and it comes with three beautiful bronzers and blushes and highlighters the like a combination and it comes with a mini little kabuki brush which works amazing I was really impressed with this brush and it's like pink color has like little flowers I love it and I'm wearing this color today as a contour I don't know if you can see I don't know about the lighting but it works very very good and I've been loving this palette next I want to talk about the L'Oreal Glam Bronze and basically that's a highlight, a creamy highlight and that's what I'm wearing today as a highlight it's a very pretty um, I don't know if you can see it's a very very pretty um, highlight bronzy goldy color I don't know if you can see but it works really nice and it's so soft I've been wearing this every day and it has no shimmers or glitters so I just love it moving on to foundation I've been loving my drugstore foundation which is the Maybelline instant anti-age foundation and my color is <clears throat> 48 sun beige and what's cool about it it has like a brush or like a sponge you just twist it and apply it it's a very creamy uh, foundation I don't know if you can see but just very creamy and very easy to blend and it looks amazing on also, my skin also I've been loving my Too Faced primer and it's called the Primed and Poreless and it's a very good primer I also heard about this from YouTube and I tried it and it works very very good as a primer face primer next favorite is this Chanel and this is the uh, Bronze Universe or they changed their name uh, oh Soleil Tan de Chanel and basically I use this for contouring my bronzer as like a cream contour and it's very pretty I tried all the brushes with this product nothing worked except this Borghese brush and this is called the 104 round foundation brush looks like this and it works perfectly with this and basically I use this just to contour my uh, cheeks and it works amazing as like a base for my um, contour powder next I want to talk about this Sigma E80 brush and 
I know I'm very very late on buying this product but I, I don't know I have a lot of brushes and I didn't want to just buy a brush and don't use it but I heard a lot of good stuff about this so I wanted to try it and I just got it like two weeks ago and I've been using this every single day on my foundation like applying my foundation it works very very nice and it's so soft and it's amazing I don't have a lot to say about it but it's amazing if you don't have this go grab it because it's amazing seriously it's like the best uh, thing to apply a liquid foundation another brush is this and this is from Tokidoki and I got this because Andrea's Choice have this brush and she talked about it before and it's very very nice and soft and basically it's a kabuki brush and it looks so cute has like this cute Chinese um, designs, cartoons and stuff. So cute. Next I want to talk about this bronzer and highlighter from Rockin Republic and it's called Villa. And first look at the packaging, got like diamonds. Looks so pretty. I got this out of Outlook. I love the highlighter. I'm not a big fan with the bronzer. I think it's not the perfect color for me but the highlighter is amazing. But one thing I don't like about this, it's very, very, like all Rock and Republic products are very delicate and soft and they're very easy to get break. So that's one thing I don't like about it. Next I want to talk about this. This is the Kiko sunscreen stick and it has SPF 50. First I got this because of the packaging and I'm like, okay, it's a sunscreen stick. You know, it's not going to be bad. And I, I, I've been using this under my makeup and it works very good and it works as a primer also very good next I want to talk about this mini tester from MAC and it's a pigment and this is called Red Electric and as you can see it's a bright orangey reddish hot pink color and let's watch it for you because I've been loving this color like crazy I wear this all over my lid and some mascara and that's it it's just such a pretty bright color for some. So next for the lipsticks, the first one I'm wearing is from MAC and it's called Cream Cup and it's a very nice uh, nude color and I apply on top of it Turkish Delights from NARS, I'm sure you all know it and that's what I have on my lips. Next I've been wearing Love Forever and it's a Barbie pink, looks amazing and I apply on top of it the cream sheen gloss and it's called loud and lovely a lipstick from Dior and it looks like this and this one is called rose new age very pretty curly color. and last one I got this recently and this is super orgasm from NARS looks like this so these are all my favorites I have only two regrets or actually three um, this is the L'Oreal matte foundation mousse and I heard a lot of girls talking about this good stuff but I totally hate it and I think I got the wrong color and it looks nasty on my skin also I got this dream cream body lotion from Lush and I hate the scent I hate the feeling I hate everything about it as you can see it smells so bad I don't know if it's expired or I don't know because I got this from Amazon I didn't get it from Lush we don't have Lush here and last thing that I mentioned it on one of my hauls and I said I'm gonna test it this is the yes to cucumber facial towelettes and I hate it seriously I hate it I just use this to clean my like my hands makeup my stuff like this because I just hate it it's so bad I don't know I just hate it. it doesn't work with me at all it works very good to remove like swatches and stuff but for my skin I think it break, break me out and it's just nasty I just hate it so that's it for me today girls these are all my favorites and my three regrets I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions anything you want me to review it anything just leave it down on the comments and I'm gonna see you in my next video hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe ciao